It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today we are talking about being aware of our very own bodies. We are joined by Komen Ambassador Natalie Banks right here, as well as Teresa Osenbaugh, to tell us more about signs and symptoms. Both of you, thank you so much for being here. Good thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah, so tell us first off, so you were diagnosed, what year was that? And, and uh, tell us how it all went down. Um, it was 2008, and I'd usually have a mammogram in July. So I had a mammogram in July. The results came back with no uh, detection of any kind of cancer or any lumps or anything and then I was reading a fitness magazine in October of 2008 and it was the, the because it was breast cancer awareness month mm -hmm. the focus was on being aware of your body and oh. being aware of uh, breast cancer so it reminded me that I needed to do my normal self self breast exam and I did the self exam and I found a lump okay and so I thought because I knew my body and I yeah. knew that was out of place yeah. I immediately called my physician and had um, had some tests run and then she did a biopsy and it came back that it was positive and it was cancer. Wow, and you had just received an exam. Exactly, in July. In July. So, I mean, I gotta ask, I mean, you, you know, a lot of women out there may think that, you know what, I got a clean bill of health right now, I don't need to do an exam on myself, but they should. Right, so mammography is the best screening tool we have today. It catches about 80 to 90 percent of breast cancers out there. Um, but sometimes it doesn't, it's not yeah. perfect. And so we always encourage women to know what's normal for them. And also know that breast cancer is not just a lump like Natalie found. Breast cancer can um, present itself in many different ways. And we have um, eight signs and symptoms really that we encourage people to look for. And some of those include change in size of shape of the breast, sure. swelling, redness, pain that doesn't go away, that's a new pain in one spot, um, any discharge. Those are things you should definitely talk to your doctor about right away. You said you know your body. Why did you know, despite a clean bill of health, know that this was different. This lump was not something that I should take lightly. Well, because it was a lump, and yeah. because it wasn't there, I hadn't felt it before. Okay. And so I knew just from having read um, and just knowing that it was out of place. And so after you were diagnosed, what was the procedure and process after? Well, after that, uh, my uh, OBGYN uh, had gave me a reference. Um, a breast surgeon, mm -hmm. a plastic surgeon, and so I met with them and got their prognosis and then they uh, gave me options. Um, and because of the size and the placement of the lump, my, the best option for me was a mastectomy. Okay. And so then I did my own research just to confirm. And then I have a cousin that is a physician as well. And mm -hmm. So, I, you know, doing my own research, and you know, the in yeah. internet has lots of information. <laughs> it does, yeah. So I did my own research, and then I talked with a cousin, and I talked with my husband, and, you know, family members, and then we just decided that uh, the, ma the mastectomy was the best yeah. option for me. And that's the way, and that's how she's an ambassador, your breast cancer survivor. Thank you for sharing your incredible story. You know, for many people out there at home, they may just be thinking, wow, you know, and you said it was Breast Cancer Awareness Month and those things, and right. they're printed and they're advertisements and promotions and just getting the word out there. So it just shows you it does really help and it gets uh, people more aware. Right, we just say know your normal all year long, get that mammogram, because again, it's the best tool we have, but yeah. don't forget just about your breast health outside on of that. that. Correct. Yeah, just don't Absolutely. settle on that. Natalie, thanks again. Thank you for having me. We appreciate me. that. And we do appreciate you, Teresa, as well. And uh, once again, know your signs and symptoms, know your body, all that's very important. We'll be right back, everyone. Stay tuned.